Everything that Apple has ever done is all leading to this, the Apple Vision Pro. Here it is. Spatial computing is the newest term that you'll hear be tossed around and until you actually experience the Apple Vision Pro in real life, it might be hard to grasp. Now I know it was for me until I put this headset on for the first time and everything just clicked. Its ability to transport you into another world while staying inside of your comfy, cozy Apple ecosystem is what really sets this apart from other headsets. Of course, the price does as well, but <laughs> this really is unlike anything I've ever experienced. The entire headset is so nice and everything feels like a high quality Apple product, as you'd expect. It's got this beautiful aluminum frame with a digital crown and this button right on top. It kind of looks like a stretched out Apple Watch if you really look at it. The front is made of a custom curved glass and under it is actually a display that will showcase to the outside world when you're watching content or a little display a visual representation of the user's eyes when you're talking to someone. Now the inside is an ultra high resolution display that has 23 million pixels across the two displays, which is more than a 4K TV for each one of your eyes. The most impressive thing about it though is the way that it just feels intuitive as soon as you put it on. The natural way you just look at something and you make a pinching gesture to select it and it just freaking works. Like it truly feels like you're witnessing a miracle. Now before we get more into this, let's do my favorite thing and unbox it. I'm gonna have a heart attack because I'm, I'm like sweating and I'm so nervous. Okay, okay. Let's unbox it. Oh my goodness. Are you guys ready? Because I'm not sure if I am. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Apple Vision Pro. I like its little protective hat and it matches the solo knit loop. It's just, it's got such a little cozy vibe. This thing is just sitting there right in the box and it is ready to set up. Oh my gosh, this is really just, it is kind of a monumental moment. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. Like, check this out. Like, it's just sitting there. It's perfectly, like it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just like floating. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wanna take off its little, little cover. Take a sneak peek, ready? This is the future. The future is in my hands right now. Oh, it's so soft. Like this is something that, I wish they made like a sweatshirt out of this because I would wear it 100%. Let's see what else is in the box. I'm gonna put its little cover back on. Shh, go see. So what have we got in here? God, she's so lucky. Like she is, she is vision pro. She is everywhere. So here's everything in the box. You get it. Now inside here is our dual band loop. So this does come with two different bands depending upon which one fits your preference. I kind of like the dual loop band because it seems to alleviate a lot of the pressure of the device. Here it is. It's kind of just like a big Apple Watch band, but for your head. We've got a USB-C cable. We've got the battery pack, which is such a beautiful battery pack. Like if Apple made one of these just to like charge my phone, I'd buy two. Think about it. And this is the little connector that goes into the side. It isn't MagSafe, it is actually mechanical. So you do have to place it in and then turn it, which is good because this keeps it in place. If it was MagSafe, you don't want this turning off mid activity. And we've got a charging brick. What's in here? We still have more things. <gasps> a polishing cloth. Can you even believe it? Oh, this is a nice, so this is a Special Vision Pro polishing cloth. It's a much thinner texture than the polishing cloths that they have for your computer. Also smells new and fresh. Okay, I haven't seen a sticker yet. All right, this is the extra light seal cushion that they give you. There's one that's a little bit thicker, so depending upon the fit, you can figure out which one's right for you. 
So here's everything that comes in the Apple Vision Pro box. We've got our headset, our external battery pack, charging brick, USB-C cable, polishing cloth, extra light seal, the solo knit band, and the dual band loop. The other thing that we have to unbox to show you are the Zeiss optical lenses. Now this is something that you can order if you have prescription lenses. You can get them if you're nearsighted or farsighted. Now these are just some readers as a demo to show you how to insert them. They go in magnetically, so if you do wear contacts, you don't actually have to buy these. So I'll show you how these work. There they are. So these will just pop right on like inserts to the Vision Pro. That's it. And they're on. That was easy. Now this is the Vision Pro case. Obviously it is sold separately. It's a little wrinkled. I think that's the style that they're going for. I'm kind of into it. It's a nice fresh white. And up here we've got the Vision Pro travel case tag. Let's open it and see what it looks like. I like this nice little handle here. It actually comes out a little bit so you can carry it. So squishy. Like actually this could be a nice travel pillow. Like I 100% would use this on the plane. Like I would, oh it's so soft and so, so nice. <laughs> Look at that, Vision Pro travel case. We've got some documentation. Okay, so this shows you how to put it in, because I, I was curious. Okay, so that's where you clip in the battery. <gasps> a little baggie. Oh, it's a little accessory pouch. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. Now we put Vision Pro in, and this is cool. It's got like a little adjustable slider, because depending upon what size light seal and cushion that you have, you might need to adjust it. So I do have the small. So pushing that all the way forward. And we've got this cute little bag to put all of our accessories in. Check this out, look at this. I see why this was so expensive, because it is a really nice case. I get it. And there we go. Apple Vision Pro is ready to go. This does have a travel mode, so if you are on a plane, a train, or if you're the passenger of a car, you can set that into travel mode so you'll be able to use this while you're moving. I won't be testing that out here in this video, but stay tuned for a future one where I take it on the go and see what it's like. Now the moment that we've all been waiting for, let's set it up. All right, so I wanna give you guys a little look at the headset. So obviously we've got our little cover on here. So when we take it off, we are greeted with this beautiful front display. Now this is a modular system, so if we don't wanna have the solo knit loop, we can just pop this right off. We've got these little pull tabs right here. You can just pull, pop them off. And then we can just put on the dual loop band. So what's cool is if you do wanna give someone guest access and they have a different size head, you just need to order the different size light seal and the cushion, and this will allow you to just swap this out to give someone access to guest mode. Now this device can only be registered to one person. So using Optic ID, this will basically be sealed to you. They will be able to go into guest mode, so we'll test that out later. I'm gonna take off our little, like it, it kind of looks like a bra. Like I'm just gonna say it, like it's, I, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm so nervous, like I feel, I feel warm. So you just line up the little dots to the circle and then you rotate and we are dialed in. So you'll see there's a little light right there, it's blinking. Now it's gonna keep blinking and as soon as it turns solid, then the headset is ready to be put on. There is an initial setup process that you have to go through. You only have to do this once when you first get the device and then it'll automatically be calibrated to you. The coolest thing though is the way that this is able to detect your eye tracking. <gasps> Looks like we have a solid light. It's time to go in. I can't believe this moment is here. So the Solo Knit has a little tightener right back here. So you just tighten that to get a nice snug fit. I'm gonna press this to hold to align my eyeballs. Oh my gosh. It's happening. Whoa, there's an Apple logo that just popped up. I can see, I can see everything. I see you. A little hello has just written itself across my screen. Oh my gosh. All right, so now it's telling me to bring my iPhone, iPad nearby to get started. So 
let's set it up. This is crazy. So I'm using my phone right now and, and it's like I am seeing with my real eyes. All right, so this is the first time that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. The cool thing is basically on day one, we're gonna have access to over a million apps because of the app store with all the iPhone apps, the iPad apps. A lot of these are compatible with Vision Pro. So it's super exciting that we will be able to use a lot of those apps seamlessly right on the Vision Pro day one. This is what the Vision Pro app store looks like. Now the tech in this thing is what is really so impressive. Just the cameras and the sensors alone and the way that they are able to duplicate such a real life experience with the pass through video. There's two main cameras on the front, two on the side, two IR illuminators, four downward cameras, two true depth cameras, and a LiDAR scanner right in the front. With all of these, this lets you casually have your hands placed on your lap, to the side, or really almost anywhere and still be able to pitch to select. Now doing a FaceTime in Vision Pro, I will say is probably one of the wildest experiences. Oh. My gosh. Okay, we were just debating like what is what's what's your hair stripe going to look like? It kind of looks blended out, right? It doesn't get the spikiness, but it's there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The faces are impressive, I think. <laughs> right? It's very very it's it's just at the edge of uncanny valley. Like mm -hmm. I know what you guys look like, so I know that they look like you. This is like <laughs> nine, like I mean, I feel like this is like a 9 out of 10 like of how we actually look. It's pretty like, good. And also like skin tones too, because we all three yeah. of us have very different complexions too. And I feel like it actually, I think it did a pretty good job. Every single time I get on a FaceTime call with this, it's the same reaction of, whoa, like this is weird. Yeah. And I realize I've gotten used to it. And I think after a while, everyone using this is just gonna get used to it. After you get over the initial, holy crap, look at this thing. Well, thank you guys, this was cool. This is this is dope, this is dope. A thumbs, thumbs, I see I saw more of there one of his thumbs. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye y'all. <ya>. <laughs>
This is in my space. I have a Safari window open right here. So now if I look at the microphone, that'll allow me to use voice to text. YouTube.com slash I just seen. So here is my YouTube channel. Now I can go and scroll through and it's just so intuitive. You look at something and you click it. Now when you see those hyperlinks becoming active, those are things that I'm looking at right now. So I'm watching this video. I don't wanna be here anymore. I wanna be somewhere else. I'm going to go to the moon. So there are all sorts of different environments that you can choose from. Right now I'm at the moon. This is full environment. Like we are, oh my gosh, my hands. It's still shocking every single time. Now there's other locations that I can go to. So when I look up here, this takes me to the control center. Look at all of these that we can choose from. So let's go to Haleakala. I always mispronounce this, but this is an incredible place in Hawaii. I've actually been here in real life. I am watching my own YouTube video on this beautiful, beautiful island. If I decide that I don't wanna be fully immersed, I can dial this back and you'll see that it goes away as you dial in the transparency. So the headset lets people know if you're actually looking at them or if you're looking at content. So obviously I am watching some content right now. Now, if anybody else is around, they will not be able to see my eyes, but because I have my digital persona already added on here, my eyeballs will show up when I'm paying attention or talking to someone else and I'm not watching content. So right now I'm fully immersed. Get Hi, oh my gosh, no, you're showing up now. And you're actually showing up more clear as I talk to you. Yeah, I can see your eyes. It's there it is. kind of cool. Cause wow. it's like, I'm seeing you, but right. you're also wearing these goggles. <laughs> but I'm seeing you kind of like, you just sort of like appeared out of the rocks. Aww. It's so <laughs> cool. All right, so right now I've opened up iMessage and I have a chat here with Armando who's over there ironically and he's, he's texting me. So it's cool because I can have our chat just be right up here. This is gonna be a great opportunity to show you guys the virtual keyboard. So I'm gonna write back. The keyboard pops up and I can put this wherever I want. Now the typing on here is so wild because it, it kind of feels like I'm actually typing. This is all too much for me to handle. Now there's three ways that you can type. You can use your voice, you can look at the letter and pinch, or you can actually press the keys. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the actual keyboard. So here we go. I push the key. Yes, I, and then I'm gonna look up there and I hit send. Now I'm gonna try just looking at the letters and pinching with my hands. Now you don't have to make like a huge gesture. You just, it's just a simple little pinch. Send. So now I'm gonna use my voice. I'm gonna look at the icon. Actually, I changed my mind. I want pizza, thank you, bye. There we go. I wonder if I can add an image, can I? Oh, I can't. This is basically just like freaking iMessage. Okay, let's see. Okay, now I'm sending you a pizza party. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna keep our chat just right up here above my YouTube video. So I'm also not bringing up like my notes and all my stuff because I have all my information in there. So you can use all of these apps just like you normally would. So I'm gonna open up Keynote. Let's make a new presentation. Oh, I can connect a keyboard. Okay, now I have just, I've got a workstation here. Magic keyboard, there it is. Connect magic trackpad. Oh my gosh, look at this. And the mouse cursor, it basically is like a little cursor that shows up from like the iPad. Okay, oh my God, oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm shocked because this is the first time that I'm actually trying this. Vision Pro is so cool. Oh my God, this is amazing. This makes it so much easier because I feel like a lot of the eye fatigue that I'm feeling is from excessively like looking around. And I think as I use this more, I'll get used to it more. Where right now I think I'm like actively looking at something because I know that's how I select. Whereas I feel it becoming more second nature and it'll be less, I feel like exhausting after a while. This is mind blowing to me. Okay, so. I've still got our chat up there. Now I wanna find an image. It's so cool because when I start typing, it just automatically, the keyboard just goes away. So if I wanna copy an image, I just look at it, I hold it, copy. I'm gonna look over here, delete that image, and let's see if Apple V works. 
It does. I just pasted it. Now, if you do want to paste this, you just do the same action. You just hold this in and it'll bring up a little selection and you can click paste. Um, I'm also recording over here if you guys are curious what this is for. That's how I'm screen recording everything. And hopefully I'm not making you completely nauseous by looking around everywhere. This is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to go into this presentation mode and I can choose an environment for my rehearsal. So we are going to go and transport to the Steve Jobs Theater to rehearse for my presentation. Hello everyone, welcome to the Steve Jobs Theater. Uh, it's Justine. Oh my God, I would probably die to be standing on this stage at one point in my life. Um, <gasps> well, my presentation is actually back there. Dude, this is wild. <gasps> uh, are we manifesting right now? I think we are. I wonder if I stand up, if it'll, if, it, if, it'll, if I will stand up. Okay, when I stand up, it actually, okay, you guys can see this because I'm screen recording, but it, it actually knew that I was standing up and showed me my surroundings. <laughs> so it's not giving me the full view so I don't hurt myself, which is actually pretty freaking awesome. There's my beautiful work of art that I just did. Wow, oh my God, I can even see the carpet. Okay, I gotta sit back down. Okay, now that I've sat back down, everything has come back into view. So that's a really cool safety feature and it happened so quickly. I have a laser pointer? How does that work? Look, oh my gosh, look at the laser pointer. This is so cool. Look at this. I'm losing it. This is so cool. When I'm having a bad day, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna sit in the Steve Jobs Theater and just make presentations. There's now a whole new app store for Vision Pro, so let's go check out some of those apps. I've already downloaded a few when I did my setup. There's a really cool hiking one that I saw. I wanna check that one out. Hiking and skiing peak visor. So I've now connected into the immersive map. <gasps> Here it's downloading. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so cool. Oh my goodness. I, look at all of this. Everywhere that I look, <gasps> I am, I am swimming in the mountain. Yosemite Village, tell me more about it. And then it just pops up right here. It's like up to my neck. Choo Choo Mountain is, it's on my neck. Check out this cool hike in Yosemite. We should do it one day. It's called Choo Choo Mountain. Choo Choo, Choo Choo, Choo Choo Choo. Come over soon and try out Vision Pro. That was way cooler than I, I actually thought it was gonna be. Sky Guide, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh, oh, hello. You go back where you belong. I feel like a god. Oh. <laughs> what? This is so cool. Also, if you want to recenter your little icons, you just have to press and hold on the digital crown. So that'll give you a different view, just like so. Now it's time to test out this app that I have been dying to show you. This is the DJ app. So here's what it looks like normally on the iPad. You can bring this into your space, like an actual DJ set. Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna move this closer so that I don't have to get up. Yeah, this is great. Okay, check this out. I can pick this up, put it back down. I can scratch. That's not it. Look what else we have. We have effects. Oh, you think that's it? No, it's not it. Look at all of these albums that have just popped up that I can pull out and put down. I probably should stop dancing because you guys are probably seeing my head move around a lot. You thought that was it? No. We can go into different environments. <gasps> Oh, look at this! Everything is awesome! Whoa, oh, check this out! Look at the tunnel! Oh, sh well, we have people! Are they gonna dance? Do you want me to change up the music, maybe? What's back here? Summer, we love it. Okay, they like this. Now they're dancing. Close DJ, and we're back in the living room. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. Apple Arcade is huge. There's so many games to choose from. You can play iPad apps, iPhone games, and you'd also connect 
an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, a controller through Bluetooth. And I happen to have my Xbox controller here that I actually just use all the time when I play Xbox. And I'm gonna play a game. This is on Apple Arcade. So if you have Apple Arcade, obviously you can, you can play this. So like I have filled this screen basically as large as I can here on my wall. So as you can see, I'm using this Xbox controller. I think Jenna's here, but I'm busy. Like, here we go. I'm gaming, I'm gaming. Hey, Maddie. Hi, Angel, mommy's playing a video game. Oh, I'm in the future. Yeah, but I am, I'm playing Sonic right now. Come on up, come on up, buddy. Okay, so also what's cool is if I want to go into an environment. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play my game in peace. Oh, look at this. And I can still see my hands. So this is something I can't wait to try. I'm going to mirror my display into my headset and edit the video that you're seeing right now. Ah, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, we're going in. Well, here's my computer. This is showing a little connect. I mean, that just popped up. So let's look at it. We're connecting. And now, <gasps> oh my goodness. My freaking timeline is now in front of my face. Oh my gosh. Move the window. So you look at <gasps> This is unbelievable. Okay, the only problem is, okay, I don't know where all my keys are. Obviously, I am watching some content. Wow. This is messing with my brain because it looks so good. It's like, look at this. Like, I'm just moving this all around my room. The other cool thing is if I wanted I could bring up any other apps here. I could just have my YouTube channel over here. Like this is just, it's awesome. Should I bring a dinosaur in? We were editing and now we're not. Look at this little butterfly. Oh my God, it's, it's touching me. I felt that, I felt that. Um, okay, you're, it's so close to me. Dude, I'm honestly gonna, I'm so scared. He's looking at my hand. Wow, <laughs> that was a lot. So Jenna came over to try out Vision Pro. Now there is a really cool guest mode that you can give access to a guest and Jenna is my guest today. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on and get guest mode all set up for you and then we're gonna go through a little tutorial. Ooh, a and tutorial. you will be able to experience Vision Pro. So I opened up the apps that I wanted Jenna to be able to view and then I hit guest mode. Okay, ready? I think so. Oh, let me get you a fresh cushion. This comes in two parts. On the website, you can actually custom fit these to your face. So this is custom fit to mine, so the seal might not be perfect for you, but I feel like we have same brain, probably same face. Is it like a small, medium, large type of number? They have different sizes, and they didn't say how many different sizes. Here you go. How do you loosen and tighten the band right here? Yep, right there, and then, oh, make sure you always grab it by. Okay, I'm learning. There, hold it to your face, and then give it a nice little. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing what she's seeing now. So she's holding the digital crown to align it with her eyes. Oh, so, oh my gosh, look at that, I can see my feet. So this is gonna go through the whole process that I went through initially to set up your hands. Um, yeah, match the hands. I right. see it. There you go. <laughs> Tap your fingers to select it. I'm looking at it. Okay, look at each dot and then do a little pinch to select. Okay, now you're gonna do it again in a different lighting condition. I do like that I don't have to move my head around. Because I feel like with other VR, moving my head around made me ill. Mm -hmm. But this, I don't have to move it. Okay, it's completing your eye setup. Are you ready to experience Apple Vision Pro, Jenna? Yes, I am. What am I gonna, what, what do I have to look forward to? Oh, well. The future? You're in the future right now. Okay. So, look at my socks. <gasps> okay, so I opened up all these apps already for you. Okay. Um, oh, let's boy. See. Hi. Oh my, it's, isn't it weird? It's weird, because it's like I can see through you. Yeah, but uh, that's me. <laughs> but you're not, wow. Okay, so these are my spatial videos. <gasps> okay, now look up at the top where it's got that little pano button. It looks like a little, um, there you go. When people are watching the screen recording of oh. this, it's gonna just look 
kind of like it looks i'm watching what you guys are seeing and it just looks like he a looks, tunnel vision yeah but like when you're in the headset what do you see oh i feel like i can touch him it's like i can i mean i you am are touching, touching him, him. <laughs> but oh Whoa. man oh, it looks like it's gonna touch me i'm so excited to see what these look like i haven't even seen any of it these yet literally looks like the leaf is touching me okay so now you're gonna go into a disney plus environment which is one of my favorite things because apps like disney plus have the ability to create these environments oh oh I'm, oh Oh man! Wow. wow! I'm in the theater. You are in There's the theater. There's a cup holder. Oh my goodness! How awesome! Okay now. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! This is so. You're gone. Hi. I don't see you. I yeah. Okay. Well. My hands. It looks like you're petting the table. I can't see. <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch Aladdin. Oh, I'm excited. Have you seen this? I think I made you go see it in theaters. Mm-hmm. My hands are so bright. Can you see Whoa. my hands? I can see your hands. Whoa! Okay, so what do you think? What does it look like? It looks it looks like I'm at the movies. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> like it feels like I'm at the movies. This is confusing for the brain. I never liked 3D because it made me kind of sick. But I feel like with this, since I'm not like moving my head that much and I'm not really like moving around, it's different. It's a different experience. Mm -hmm. wow. So unfortunately, I can't show you what she's seeing right now in 3D because of copyright. Maybe. So you're just gonna have to uh, to trust our commentary here. I. It's like I'm there. <laughs> I know. Come on out, Jen. Okay, I don't want to. It's fun in here. <laughs> oh, I'm not, Welcome I'm back. I'm not in the theater. FaceTime Jenna Ezeric. Oh my gosh, so I have you in, in the Joshua Tree environment and your little screen is actually showing a little shadow on the rocks that I have you set on. This is gonna be total inception. Okay, so I'm carrying you right now. I'm walking around. Whoa, gosh, I got so close because I dropped you. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. But I can't figure out what's happening because I have this, okay, this is so freaking wild because I couldn't figure out, like you are right next to yourself. We're really having a fun time here. But this looks like you're really there. Nothing, because this is everything. I wonder if I leave you there, if I lose you. Okay, I'll bring you with me. Okay, here we go. We'll be on the TV. So I'm gonna share my keynote with you that I've been working on. Okay. okay. I'm gonna take you into my presentation room. <gasps> oh, we're in the conference room. I know, look, and watch this, when I turn around, my presentation is there. It's a very nice conference room. So that's my slideshow. Can you open the blinds? <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> think I can. Okay. <laughs> Great, uh, I'll do a follow up next week. Okay. Okay, bye. Um, hi, okay, so I was walking around. I forgot I needed to get something in here and then I walked back into this room, but like the window is right where I left it. Like it's, it's right here, like it's, I left the window here in this room and I, I'm leaving now. Oh, there, okay, yep, uh-huh. Careful when walking around. The window st it stayed over there. It's where I left it. This is so, so wild. Well, thank you guys for watching. I know this is a long video, but I was trying to be as thorough as possible in giving you guys the unboxing experience and what it's like to actually use it. The only problem is a lot of the footage that I'm showing you, like it doesn't look as good as it does in the headset. The stuff that I'm showing you, it looks perfectly fine on screen, but when it's actually inside of this headset and in your head, it just looks so crystal clear and everything is just so real life that I cannot stress enough how like, you gotta try it. Like if you're not gonna buy one, I don't, that's fine. Find a friend, hop in guest mode, test it out, go to the Apple store and just use it because it needs to be something that you experience just so that you're getting your mind wrapped around what the possible future looks like for spatial computing. Not only for Apple, but there's so many other headsets that I feel like are gonna be kind of going in this direction. So not only for content creation, shooting spatial video, for advertisers, for marketers, like this is a whole new world and it's here so buckle up <laughs>